Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I really do appreciate you all coming back and visiting me. Uh, in today's video, we are going to be taking care of all three fans. Uh, taking care of all the wiring, that is. And we're also going to be taking the... Uh, this is going to be the tough one. Uh, the fuel tank down to install my 450 liter per hour fuel pump. Now, this fuel pump here uh, is capable of uh, holding the E85 that I need um, and a better quality unleaded fuel. So, um, so stay tuned for that. My first time installing an actual fuel pump in something like this. Um, so, yeah, <laughs> that's going to be some interesting stuff. I'm kind of nervous. So I'm standing here contemplating how I'm going to go ahead and get this fuel tank down. Um, reason why that is is because all my jacks are garbage my bottleneck jack that's just not gonna work at all uh, so I'm sitting here not sitting but standing here having a cigarette I hope you all don't mind me having a cigarette contemplating how I'm going to drop this tank down by myself this is going to be quite interesting because I really need to install this fuel pump here in order for the injectors, the fuel regulator, and everything to work correctly so it's not running rich. What I have right here is the transmission cooler fan, all right, and a very poorly wrapped decision. So, um, so what I did was, okay, so this is my ground, all right, and what I did was I snipped off uh, that little lead part, did the same thing, and I spliced in for the positive. And what I'm going to do with this positive is I'm going to run and splice this wire into the other positive wires for the fans. This bad boy right here, I'm going to tap and let sit right here as a ground i'm going to clean all this off right here so it's bare metal but i'm going to ground it off right here and if you can see these oops, sorry if you can see these two blue wires that i have right here these are the ground wires to the other fans which i'm going to do the same exact thing i'm going to splice these two together as my ground and run it right there on the front wall so that they're That'll be my ground post. Now for the positive, what I'm going to try to do is, um, here's the actual positive wire that I have run right now, which this positive wire that's still on the floor to this fan still needs to be spliced into this wire. And what I'm going to end up doing is running this right here and then possibly running another positive wire to the actual button and then running the accessories that way and then running a ground from that button to the firewall so that there it's not so cluttered with a bunch of wires i'm hoping praying to god that it's not going to cause me an issue or a fire so but you all can see as well, my wastegate pipe is connected, and there's the tips for it. I hope you guys like that. Leave your comments down below if, you're, if you think that's pretty cool. I got it on the other side as well. I got it to match up. Correctly, 
but yeah, from a distance, that's what you get from a distance. Pretty cool. I, I think it's pretty interesting. Kind of like an old school fighter jet or um, old school war plane, one of those. World War II warplanes where they had the, the pipes that came down every time they started. I remember from uh, the first time we started the engine, I had a couple of comments uh, that said that it sounded like a World War II aircraft. So I figure, why not uh, do something interesting? And I've got my exhaust pipe pretty much same angle, cut ground. So, so yeah. Let me know what you guys think about the pipes coming out of the fenders on uh, both sides. I think they look pretty cool. We are back. So I've got everything wired up to the toggle switch. Uh, I kind of switched them over. I put them on my zombie light, bar, uh, light uh, toggle switch. So basically I've got all the fans run up. I've got uh, all the negatives tapped into that right there you can see my shitty taping job hopefully i can get some shrink wrap or uh put some kind of protective shield on there or something um but i also yeah cringe all you want but i tapped into my main source for the power so i have uh all the power situated here running straight to the toggle switch and then this switch right here this little wire right here is running to the 12 volt or the 10 amp um, amps so um, where I have it is all the wires are basically coming in through there I still have to get all this wiring all cleaned up so, uh, once everything's all cleaned up and stuff like that, then it'll be nice. But, here's the toggle that I was telling you about. So, I've got my ground so that the light will turn on. I basically hot-wired the DC and splice it to each other on both sides. So... And then I have my ground sitting uh, right there, if you can see the blue wire on the wall. And it just basically runs up, up against, up underneath the dash, and then through here. So, I haven't tried it yet, but let's go ahead and plug this bad boy in. Hopefully we don't blow anything up. Pray to God we don't blow anything up. Got a spark. Lights are turned back on. And I also have this light here, this toggle switch, the Sasquatch lights for my fog lights. So, uh,. So far, I don't see anything over there burning, so that's good. Let me just check this one. All right, we got lights working on it. Sasquatch is lighting up, so that's cool. Let's see about this real quick. Oh, God. I'm praying. Oh! Oh, did I do it right the first time?
bands are working. That's awesome. That is awesome. I got it running right off my zombie toggle switch here. And that's cool. That's never done that before. And they turn off. So let me stuff this bad boy in to the socket. And that'll be one less thing to do. Alright, so basically what you guys can see now is these two tubes right here. These are rubber hoses. One's for the fuel line. One's for, um, I guess, like a vape line uh, for the fumes. Those need to come off. All right, and then basically I have a strap here and then I have a strap on the other side there. You can't really see it down there. Anyways, but um, what I need to do is once I remove these, I'm going to unbolt this strap right here and set it off to the side. On the other side, I'm just gonna loosen up that strap bolt for the time being. And then what I'm gonna do is just basically lower this side because on top where the fuel pump sits, there's two other connections that I need to drop down. So hopefully I can have this camera, you know, situated while I'm doing this. And you guys can actually see some of the action taking place. All right.
one person, especially with no jacks that work correctly. And being by yourself doing this, and even with a quarter of a tank of gas, it's pretty damn heavy. So um, I was able to get the fuel line. I dumped a little bit of gas, but not too much. But I was able to get uh, the fuel line off. There's a little bit of crud underneath. We're going to have to vacuum up first. But the fuel tank is officially down. So I got the EVAP off. I'm going to slide this over just a bit so I can turn this. Now that I've got the fuel tank removed and stuff like that, I've got my vacuum over here. I've got a couple of tanks to put the old fuel in. And then I've got this bucket here to catch my uh, system over here for the fuel pump. And then, yeah, then we're going to get... But look how corroded and nasty this is. So I don't know. We might have to do a little bit of work cleaning it around there. And then I've got a mark where I had everything sitting fuel pump wise and all the connections so not bad you know with all the corrosion and everything that was on it I got this locking clip that I need to take off <coughs> or that needs to come off but then uh, yeah what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up a little spot I'm gonna make a mark right here where the fuel pump or the fuel regulator needs to go. We're going to clean all this nastiness up. I still have to unplug this. Uh, but not bad. So I wouldn't have to replace it immediately. Although I would recommend replacing this, this cap piece if you could. Um, so yeah. Other than that. Not bad for a quick clean up. Alright, so I've had to do a little bit of fabrication to this, so I don't know if you guys can see, but if you look quite carefully, I still have to do a little bit of bulging on this side here, and maybe this side here, alright, in order for the top part to fit correctly. So, alright, so with some heavy modification... I managed to get the top to seat correctly the way I need it. And what I'm going to do is so that now when the you know when this sits the hose will actually clamp in and I can tighten everything in play. It has been another few days, all right, uh, in this video. I finally gotten everything buttoned up. The front bumper is on. The plating is on for the muffler. The uh, wiring for the O2 sensor to the air fuel ratio is done. Everything is installed for the fuel tank. The fuel pump is installed. Everything's inside. Let me show you real quick. Hopefully I have enough lighting. Sorry about if I don't. But the tank is installed. And all the new hoses have been installed as well so if you guys can see all brand new hoses and I also 
went out and got just a little bit over five gallons of 93 pump uh, pump gas. So, yeah, we're going to try 93 pump gas for the time being. But, yeah, everything's installed. I've got plating on for the exhaust. The actual bumper is finally installed. All the wiring and everything is all done. What I did was instead of using the brackets up top because it's nice and stiff, I actually made brackets on the bottom and held them onto the frame. So it keeps it actually clean and it looks like it's being ghost over here on the top. I think it's pretty cool. The fan sits nice and clean for the transmission. That's going to be pretty much like a clutch fan cooling cooler line whatever you guys want to call it you know leave your comments down below but if you guys also see i picked up some turbo guards and that looks pretty cool so those are all ready but truck's done all i need to do now put this 93 in and then get to this fuel regulator because now my 42 pound fuel injectors with the two bar map sensor and the new 450 liter per hour fuel pump that I installed should help feed whatever this Frankenstein of a setup that I have going on. But leave your comments down below. Do you guys like the way this is looking? The sleek um, sleeper look. Uh, I think it looks really nice. I think the only thing that's going to catch people's eyes are definitely these little tiny deer horns. Um, all right, they I, I, don't make fun of me. I know they're tiny. All right, but <coughs> I think that's what's going to catch a lot of people's eyes and attention going, huh, that's interesting to see. But for being sleek with the hood down, like I can, I'll put the hood down right now for you guys. I'm not going to close it all the way, but pretty clean for a sleeper. Nobody would notice that that damn thing had twin turbos in it, huh? Should I keep it a sleeper or should I go above and beyond? To be honest with you guys, I don't know if I'll be able to start it anyways. Um, I might not have enough fuel in the truck itself, so we'll see. I don't want to flood the damn thing, and I don't want to keep dumping fuel into the actual truck. So, all right. Give it a shot, I guess. I don't have enough gas in the truck. you guys got to hear the truck and the chop on it at the end is what I'm looking for but my ass is gonna blow this truck up if I end up tuning it wrong uh, I know that for a fact so next video we are going to try to tune 
the truck again, and hopefully we have a better laptop, and a lot more ands, and and this, and and that. So, yeah. Sorry for the long video. Alright, love, peace, and Mopar Grease, and you all be safe. Thank you all for subscribing. If you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Next video, we'll try to get everything situated with the tuning, um, and I recommend you not to do anything I do on this channel, because I might end up blowing some stuff up here in the next video. All right? Let's pray it won't happen. But hopefully we can get this damn truck in next video running and driving. Alright? Later, guys. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. I will talk to you all later. Peace.